Hello internet dwellers and welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft Backlot, the show that recreates famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for funsies. I'm your host Jeff and welcome, welcome back again to another Halloween special. Ooh, ooh. Uh, so for those of you who may have watched uh, Bit by Block, I did do a Halloween special. I don't know, maybe maybe a I guess like four years ago, I did one. And actually, um, you can see it across the way over there. Actually, that's um, that's new. Um, I did Camp Crystal Lake. There might be a video of it playing here. I did that. That was fun. I, but I wanted to do something different this year. And I wanted, since I'm back, since we're doing the show again, I'm like, I want to do another Halloween special. Now, what is it? Now, obviously, I'm wearing Jason's outfit right now. Um, it's not Friday the 13th. Don't worry. But it is another Halloween classic. Now, yes, I know, I know. I went over and over and there's so many possible uh, options we could do. There's so many different sets and movies. I mean, we did the Base Motel. We did Camp Crystal Lake. I know there's, you know, there's there's Nightmare on Elm Street. We could do, you know, the Thompson House. We can do, um, uh, we could we could have done Michael Myers' house from Halloween. We could have done the, I don't want to do the projects from Candyman, but we could do that. We could really do that building. Um, it'd be different. Maybe we could put that in the city someday. But there was so many different options, but I'm like, no, we got to do something different. <laughs> so we're doing another house. <laughs> I promise we're going to do more things than just homes on this channel. Just going to take a while. Um, so I'm purposely not putting in the title what we're building because I want you guys to guess. Um, it was not part of the poll, but I did uh, just so you can see where we're at. That's the Home Alone house. Um, that's the back of Mr. Bean's. Uh, apartment over there so you kind of have an idea of where in the map we might be this is all brand new i made this entire giant lake specifically for this build don't don't don't, don't look there don't look down there <laughs> um so what is it what are we building does anybody have a guess i'll let you i'll let you i'll let you guess make some comments you know just write write your guess down in the comments and as i drown and <laughs> I want to see if uh, if you guys can guess what we're doing. So, okay, okay. I'm giving you like five seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start showing you. I did some preliminary stuff because, you know, I always do this. So there's a little bit there. And let's see if I can walk to <laughs> walk to this without showing off what I have built. So there's this there's this structure. That's kind of just over the water. Okay, do you know what it is? You probably already know what it is, don't you? You guys know what it is. Right? Okay, does this help at all? <laughs> yeah, I think you guys know what it is. It is the Amityville Horror House. Like, of course, that's what we have to do. So I built this whole lake... Um, and of course, we're, we are going off of the uh, the original 1970s one, not the re and not any of the thousand spinoffs. Obviously, only which of two I think had anything to do with the house directly. Um, and we're not doing the Ryan Reynolds uh, remake because that was a completely different looking house, uh, filmed in Wisconsin. In case you didn't know that, um, at least the house was on the outside. But no, we're doing the original classic. Amityville Horror House. So I did, as usual, some work off camera because I wanted to try to get, you know, as I always say, like I wanted to get the the scale of this kind of set in stone before we really started working on it. Because this, this is probably only going to be like maybe two episodes, maybe three, we'll see. Um, but I definitely wanted to get the scale of this because I didn't want to run into the same problem as we did on the Jersey Shore build where I completely botched the scale <laughs> so let me show you what i got here what we're working with um there is <clears throat> excuse me there is a ton there is a ton of information uh that we could work off of now this is uh the actual original house now the original house is a little different than the one from the movie so now let me also specify we are doing the one from the movie <laughs> um as i said not not the actual real house so here's some screenshots of the house from the film itself um, I also did take into a, you know, I see more screenshots inside, but what we also have is I found this cool little thing, um, <clears throat> by an artist, which is, um, oh my goodness, where is his name? I will find it. And I'll link to him in the description. Oh, I'm sorry. It's right here. 
it's very blurry. I will find this and I'll link to it in the description. But he does these art prints of famous like movie homes, uh, like specifically horror homes. I think he did the base motel as one of them. <laughs> and then obviously he did this house as well. So I'm using this as kind of a rough blueprint because this is very different than the actual house. So now this style house, um, that's a horrible example. Um, where's that? This one. Yeah. Like this is the actual blueprints to kind of, the, no, it's mirrored, but it's the actual blueprints to like the real house, um, or that style of home. But there's definitely things that they did differently compared to the film home. Oh my goodness. No, no, go back. <laughs> um, no, I don't. Yeah, I want them. Um, and as like little things like the, and you can see this when you're watching the movie. So like on the ground floor, we'll just use that for example. So we'll get into this on the ground floor. Um, when they walk into the house, they come in and they come in to, um, where do they go? Do they go in the dining room? I think, or no, they go into the living room first. They go over here and then they walk back behind the stairs and into the kitchen. Um, please forgive me if that's reverse. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but I, I do know that they do that. Well, so like there's this opening underneath the stair in the actual house's blueprints. They don't have that opening. There's actually like a small little like bathroom back there. So like that's clearly something they they um, they modified for the real or for the movie house. So I want to go off of the real or the sorry, not the real the movie house because uh, that's that's again that's what we're doing. So as you can see, I do have little walkways back here. So like this is the living room. Here's the front porch. Um, this is where they can walk back behind the stairs and they go into the kitchen and there's like a little dining room table here and here's just like the front, like actually dining room itself. Um, I've got the fireplaces in uh, place already because of course, of course, we have to have that. That's so iconic, this thing right here. Um, now most of the time, so like that angle here, let me just position it so you can kind of see where we're looking at. So like that is... Yeah, that's about like here ish. And so we'll do the whole chimney and there's like a little thing here. Obviously, we're going to try our darndest to get those eyes. I'm, I'm going to really focus on those eyes. Might have to be something I do off camera because I have a feeling it's going to take a while. Um, but <laughs> but uh, so that's the house. And I just planted some trees there just to kind of help with the ambiance of the opening. Um, but yeah, so outside of the house so we have the house all to scale this is the boathouse um and those of you who do remember this is actually where they first show up in the beginning of the house is the, the boathouse so we'll also do like a little nice path that goes up there um i do realize that in the in the movie i do believe they have a um again this is not in the real house the real house it's just up like right next to the street actually it's kind of this close but in the movie they have like a garage somewhere out here because he's out cutting wood somewhere in here and it's like a big long drive i wasn't gonna do that i just wanted to build the house <laughs> that's really my main focus so that's what we're gonna do for this as well so again not 100 percent accurate but which of these buildings is i mean actually i feel like the base motel the psycho house is pretty much the closest i've gotten to any of these but um i digress so what are we gonna do on today's episode i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna at least just try to get the first floor in and actually the second floor and maybe everything but the roof. Because um, that just kind of seems like a good place to start. And then we'll come back and we'll deal with the inside of everything later. Sounds good? Sounds good. Okay, so first things first, we need to figure out that sighting. Um, oh, oh, there's a shot of the house from inside the um, uh, the uh, the lock, the dock. Which maybe we actually need to move the dock over. I'll figure that out once we get to that point. But see, you can see like the stairs that I want to do. I kind of want to do like a little bit of landscaping. Again, that might just be a off-camera thing, but um, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is, so it's just, it's very traditional, just white, boring old siding. That's that's what this, uh, this house is. So we're going to go see what we can find that kind of looks like that. Um, all right, what do we got? Just go away. I don't need the doctor's, okay. Um, white. <laughs> what do we got for, do we, do we have, I said, I don't want to use birch. We might just end up using, I don't want to use wool. I'm I'm so terrified that wool's just going to like catch on fire one of these days. Sulker box. I don't know. No, that's going to be looking, that's going to look weird. So let's just quickly skim through. I wish there was like a white, a whiter wood that had the, uh, the planks on it. Cause that would be perfect for the color of the house. You know what I mean? Cause like, then you get, you could kind of get the siding effect. And maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe that's the direction we're going to go. 
but oh wait what is this well that's a block of iron that could kind of work the house is gonna be really freaking heavy but <laughs> um we could do a quartz pillar if i can get the quartz pillar to turn on their side that kind of looks right yeah okay let's just let's just see what these look like okay so this is this ah i don't like the line that's already annoying to me all right i don't like the vertical line um can i oh yes i can <gasps> i think we found our thing okay so we are going to use this sideways quartz pillar. Now I do realize that on the ends might look a little goofy, but frankly, I want the siding. I want it to look like that. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, I can deal with that because then we're just going to turn it to make it go back that way. So I'm going to fill in these gaps right now um, that I already kind of prepped. Not the glass. There. Okay, so then we got that first two layers done that I just have everything laid out. Yeah, see, like this, it, it's going to look like this on the side. I don't actually care. I think it kind of, it almost kind of looks like it might be some decorative, you know, corner piecing. Um, and I just made sure that it's the same on every side. So on both this side and that side, it ends with these pieces. And the same thing happens for these little jut outs. As you can see here, we got three blocks and then we have just that angle jut out. And the same thing will happen there and on the other side. Um, I do realize looking at this, it looks like we're trying to build an Ikea. <laughs> I didn't intend on those colors. I was just trying to make sure I had the thickness of the walls correct. Um, all right. So with that in place, what I want to do is I think, honestly, I think I'm just going to cop. <laughs> okay. I didn't have my tools set up yet. <laughs> Uh, you know, usually I try to do all this stuff before I start recording. What is it? Is it wand? Is it ma I thought it was magic wand. Oh, it's just wand. Never mind. Okay, I tried to do. I tried to have all this stuff set up before I start recording, and clearly, just didn't didn't do that today. I just went right into the recording. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go here. It's perfect. Go there, and then sorry. What we're gonna do? Honestly, I think okay. We do have to figure out height issues. So let's let's stack this up 10. Undo that. <laughs> Oopsie. Stack 10 up. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> okay, um, let's just do three up for now. Okay. That's still way too tall. Don't worry about this. That's not it's not gonna be it's not gonna be giant glass windows like that. Um, okay. So what what do we have for height here? Let's figure this out. This is on a front porch. I think I'm not going to do any furniture inside this house. I kind of just want the walls. So for this house, I am planning on putting like these spruce slabs down on the inside. Um, kind of like that. So there's going to be a, a step up here because I want. Do we have? Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, on the outside of the house here, and I'll show you the screenshot in a second if you can if, if maybe you remember it offhand maybe you've seen this movie more than i have um who knows uh there is actually whoop, there's like a little brick front porch here so i kind of want to recreate that um nothing crazy but just a little bit of an up so then we'll have this okay so then let's figure out the height of these ceilings what did we do for what did we do for home alone hold on I'm sure the McAllisters won't mind me just barging in. Oh, I did this up that far, huh? I do a whole... Okay. Oh, I did two whole bricks up. Interesting. Anyways, the McAllisters won't mind me barging in, will they? Um, right, one, two... Oh, the rugs didn't make it over when I copied this back on the game. One, two, three... And then... Okay, so it's four. And then we have... I'm assuming that is a drop ceiling. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four whole blocks with a half a block, and we're up. Okay. Bye, bring me back something French. Okay, so I kind of want to actually bring this up a whole. Like, I kind of want to do this. We're going to keep that. Let's just, let's just play with this. This is all, this is all very important. Um, so actually, the way that it's set up. Kind of, yeah, see that, that looks more, oops, let's just, that, that looks more like the movie. 
have a nice big approach because then I can also do the columns here and then I can I could actually potentially put furniture in here. Well, are we going to do this? I think we're going to probably do this, aren't we? Now, we're not going to go up as high as the McAllisters. We are just going to go one brick up or one whole block up. But, you know, I think that's good. And then um, here, oh, actually, let's we could just use these again. So then it's one, two, three, and then four. And then that is, oops, like that's the height. And then this would come over like so. Here, I'm just going to do this one wall. I'm not even going to do the whole wall. I'm just going to do up to here because I am lazy and I don't want to do it all. And uh, as I'm finishing the rest of the wall, <laughs> uh, again, it's not going to be that color. So don't. Um, yeah, for like the big main grand entrance ways there. And then let's just bring this out. Yeah, I just want to make sure this looks right overall. Nope, that one's wrong. So yeah, I think that's I think that's a good height. And then we'll just eventually, what do we have for like just blue quartz? I'm assuming it's smooth quartz because I think the other one's going to leave a line. Yeah, see, and then we'll just do that. That'll be... That'll be on this floor, and we'll kind of get, we'll just do the exact same thing that we did on the McAllister home. I think that works well. So block, so four blocks high, and then we'll have a whole nother slab up there, and then this will be the start of the next floor. Two, three, four. So that'll be the height of the house. I don't hate that. Again, we're not going to do the whole windows there. So, okay, so we know that now. Let's just, um want to make sure that this is the right height in here. I'm sure some of you are like, why the hell aren't you just using the command to fill this area? I'm, I, I don't know all the commands, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh no, I got rid of my wand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that bottom. Okay, I'm liking that. And then knowing that Knowing that this is here, is that the right height? No, we have to go one down. Because, oh, yeah, we have to go. What about course? What am I thinking? Because this is going to be the ceiling. The ceiling's there, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah. We can't. We definitely cannot have it that tall. I mean, that'd be cool, but that's no good. So what we're going to need to do is we will just replace that top row with that. Because these are pretty small windows. So like if you look at the, again, the, the, the house, they're not meant to be very tall. Um, they are as tall as the doorway, which is always fun in Minecraft. Uh, I always complain about the doorway. I'm so sorry. But I think what I'll probably do since it's here is we'll probably, here, let me grab that. Probably we'll just do something like this. Um, well, we'll figure it out. I'll put a door there and we'll figure out how to, to block that up. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to question whether or not I do need to make these. Maybe I do need. Yeah, you know what? I did that on the Home Alone house and I just think it I think it looks better. I don't know. I'll come back to this. We at least know the height. So we've got the height of the house for the first floor. So then knowing that... Let me go and build this next layer, um, and I will be right back. Okay, there. So now what we have is we just have the next one block down. I'm going to just do a quick copy. So now that we know that it's going to be, um, let's get rid of that so I don't copy that in. It's gonna be four blocks high. It's also way easier now because we are on the second floor. We don't have all like the little indents and all that stuff. So let's stack you four up. There we go. So that is the uh, second layer. That's the second floor. Um, I will come back in and put the windows. The nice thing is that the windows basically, they mimic where they are all around the house on the both floors, which is nice, except for the two fancy ones on the side. So this is the second floor. Now, what we do have left is that unfortunately we're not gonna be able to do today is we have the, um, we have the, the, the roof. And I'm gonna save that for a different episode, mostly because that's, it's a lot of work. I gotta figure that one out. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't really know how that's gonna work. Um, let's go ahead and stack that four up. Okay, so there we go. We've got something like that. Let's just go through and clean up this a little bit. Um, 
just to at least get the at least get, let's get this first these first two floors and their windows completely settled in um, just so everything looks nice and clean. Okay, so there's those. Let's go ahead and get the second floor windows in. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe on the second floor we don't do the full big windows that we do on the on the uh, on the first, just because it is supposed to be, you know, it's bedrooms. You're not gonna want those like big grand windows. And again, I'm still deciding how much I actually want to keep those windows like that. So we're gonna just do these for now. Now I did realize something. I guess that is the right height of the door. Um, never mind. I was thinking that that was gonna be needing to be a two window like those, but it is not. So, what do we have? Got this right here. Yep, let's do two for there, and then two here, like that. Beautiful. Um, I don't actually know. Is there a window over here? Let's consult the sacred text. Um, so they go up at the top of the stairs. Oh, okay. Wait, that's the second floor. Oh, that's interesting. According to this, that window behind is actually... Up Hey, really? Did they? Is, did, is that true? <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Let's look here. Oh, yeah, I guess that window is at the top of the stairs. Not. Okay. Shows you what I know. <laughs> um, okay, so that window's fine. This window. Oh, well, you know, I might actually have that correct. Top of the stairs. That's going to be behind there. Uh, oh yeah, this is definitely going to only be two. So, okay, well. Top of the stairs there, right? Yeah. Alright, that's that's fancy. Um, now, on the first floor... Oh, I see what they did. I think... Hold on. <laughs> I have to keep going back and forth. What is this? Oh, yeah, no, see, they just... Oh, they just did one window back there. Well, we have to fix this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go with this for the, this is the living room down here. On the front of the house, it's double windows. On the back of it, they just did one, but I kind of, one, two, the two, one, two. Yeah, okay. I kind of want it centered. I just think that looks nicer. So that means what we're also gonna do is then up here in the bedroom, first off, we need this. <laughs> and we need to go, and we need to go back up there. Um, we're just gonna do three windows as well. They, uh, Shows that they kind of have a. Uh, where's that at? Here we go. Oh, how many of these do I have open? Oh, I got a lot of these open apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, right, like smack dab in the middle of the bedroom. Um, they've got uh, a window, and so oh, so it's up here they are showing that there's a second window on the other side of the hall that does, I guess, layout wise make sense. So we need one. What? Like here, maybe. That might move. Um, yeah, that one might move. We'll figure that one out later on. Um, and then also on the second floor, it looks like they've got one. Where is this one? This one's here. So we're just gonna do two there because there's a, apparently a balcony here on top of the kitchen. Um, so actually that means there, there would be a doorway. There. Yeah, there. <laughs> um, so that, okay, onto the side of the house here. Now, I want to inspect this, not that one. That's the actual house. Oh, here we go, this one. Okay, okay, so they do have them kind of centered. All right, so with that, it's, um. so like the windows downstairs are smack dab in the middle of the room, but these are kind of off directly to the side because that's starting to form the like the eye was the eyes of the house. I know the eyes are up there, but like it's kind of starting to form that. So what we want is we kind of do we do two? Maybe we do two on the side. I think. Oh, sorry. I do. I do realize I was looking on the other side of the house, but oh, I don't like that at all. Wait a minute. First floor. Oh yeah, that's weirdly off. Oh, I, oh my OCD is not gonna like that. Um. <laughs> That's a problem. Um, okay, first off, let's let's go do the other side. <laughs> Maybe if I can see it done correctly over here, then I can live with that side a little better. Um, so, okay, so this is the side of the house that you actually see the eyes on. Um, I know, I always assumed it was, like, the side that faced the street, 
And I think it's because the real house, it faces the street, but in the movie, it's technically facing the lake, which is kind of whatever. Um, so now, did I not build that center? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. How did I not build that center? Two. Uh, oh my god. Am I going to have to go back and rebuild this? That's supposed to be center. Old police. Okay, there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how I miscounted that, but somehow this entire back, ha back half was shy one brick. The entire thing was shy one brick. And now that this is even, counted it correctly, I also noticed that this wasn't done correctly uh, when I was doing this. I don't know how. I literally did that like 40 minutes ago. Um, but in how it also makes this a little more even based upon the layout of the room. This did not look right to me and now it's done. Perfecto. So those are the <laughs> so back to what we were doing before I realized I messed up. Those are the upper windows, and then what we're going to do is then the ones that are the eyes will just be directly above it when we get to doing the uh, the attic, um, or that whole third floor, because I got to figure out how to get it up to eight eight block or four blocks, and then just curve it down and make it look nice. So that'll be next time. So let's go back over to here to the other side, and oh, this is really bothering me. <laughs> but now that we have this done correctly, um. You can see that it is actually, according to the, at least the blueprints, the, the house is a little off kilter on this floor. It's, it is, they, they have the window above the sink, because naturally that's what you'd want it. But then this window is kind of tucked in the corner. Now maybe we can fake this. Um, maybe we just push this window out further and this window comes in. Like, what if we do, actually, we're not going to do all the way there. Like, what if we just do... Ah, uh, no, that's going to look weird. No, because we have to have a counter there, so it has to be that. Um, That's, what is this, four? One, two, three, four? Yeah, so if we do one, two, three, four, and we just do the window there. So it's at least even-ish on the ground floor, because then that's, that's even. Where is this window? I want to see what this is in the kitchen. Ah, that is why I think I had it over so far. I think I was trying to center it. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. But then this may technically, maybe this... Oh, you know what? This is just going to go over one. I made a decision. It's just going to be like that. Because now it would be not centered at all either still. <laughs> But you know, okay, then we'll just, we're going to, we'll just make it, we'll make it an extra wide open. Oh, and then that one needs to be extra wide. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Okay, we're going to leave it like that um, for now. And then we're just going to do the same thing. Same thing here. What do we, I, oh, that's, uh, I don't know. That's out. Right, there we go. So then two from in there, two. So then that would all go there. So then at least those are kind of balanced well. Um, and I mean, truthfully, no, I can't. I don't want to bring that all the way down because I want these I want these to be kind of close to those. Now, I, I don't like that it's one brick away there and it's two bricks away there. Maybe we do knock this over one. Maybe we just... We do do this. There. Okay, you know what? We're going to do that. It's two blocks away there. It's two blocks away there. These are even on both sides of the house now. Now the eyes will just be up there. Whew. <laughs> All right, so let's do a recap because I think we're going to end it here for the day. What do we got here? We've got the first two floors pretty much all prepped and planned out. Um, at least the outside uh, is done. The windows are done and in place. Um, we will go back in and obviously I will put some lines in that once we do a little bit of decorating. But then, um, so we decided it's going to be up one whole brick here from the ground so we can have a nice little front step area. Actually, now that I think about it, I really don't think it's like that. Um, come in here, have a whole full brick. It is four bricks high. Actually, it's three whole bricks. And then we kind of have a half a brick showing, but it's four bricks so we can get this drop ceiling in here. So then that way, this is the floor upstairs. Um, that won't be there, though, because this is all big open area, but you know what I mean here. This is a better example. See? First floor, ceiling. Second floor, that. 
So then we can walk around in here. I mean, these windows are still kind of high, but this still gives us some space to build underneath it. And that's kind of what I want. And then, yeah, <laughs> weirdest chimney in the world. So yeah, okay, I think that is where we're gonna stop for the day. Just kind of um, getting the basic general structure in place, general structure. And uh, next time we will work on the the roofs of the uh, the front little part of the porch here that looks out towards there. And then we'll work on getting this roof figured out and done. And then once that's done, we'll work on just getting the walls and the floors up inside. And then we'll kind of see where we take it there. So anyways, with that, that is the end of today's episode. If you like this episode, please make sure to leave a comment and a like. Um, there's going to be, like I said, maybe one or two more episodes max for this year's Halloween special. Definitely want to get these out before October 31st, because of course, why wouldn't I? Um, we have to start working on the Christmas episode. Um, but uh, which, by the way, if you have any suggestions for any Christmas themed builds, structures, doesn't have to be a house, but anything like that, uh, please leave those in the comments because we're trying to look and find for stuff for this December and Christmas as well. Any hoosie scoozies. So with that, thank you guys very much. I still don't have a sign off, but I hope to see you in the future. Ooh.